another day of work. I walk over there to my truck. It's like the snow basically has some spots like kind of soft and then others like slippery. This is like it froze over so there's like a layer of ice. But I'm not looking forward to when this stuff starts defrosting. You know, going on dealing with that. Just like I said yesterday, it was all nasty and muddy. And here soon, it's going to start defrosting again. Having to go all the way up there to that stockpile. From right here, we're getting loaded by this stuff. Most likely again. Then going all the way up to that stockpile over there. Because yesterday, the hoe dug out from right here all the way to that end right there. It's freezing out here. I can't wait till the summertime. I really can't. Sometimes I'm gonna be nice. As you can tell, it's kind of big. A little warmer in here, even though it's still kind of cold. Yep. Now, I have any, I mean, I'm just cold and kind of tired. Got a little caffeine in me. These are big old houses. The houses that are going to be in this area and this whole little place is in a, are going to be big houses like that. Yep, it's gonna be interesting, but I'll go let you go and I'll see you guys whenever I have something to update you with. Right now we're just been bringing this topsoil now semi rock to way over there where that dozer is way up there. That's all we've been doing. It's kind of crazy how that rock looks though. It kind of looks like, um, since the hoe ram came up to it, it just looks crazy. And plus it kind of looks like it's, uh, like it's not exactly stable, if that makes sense, because of all the cracks. But who knows? But it's just interesting to know that, you know, all, how much rock there's only a couple feet of topsoil and then next thing you know there's like I don't know about six seven foot of rock probably more going down I'm not sure but all this stuff had to be beaten down with a hoe ram because they couldn't hit it with a um a uh, what was it black they couldn't blast it because of the houses up here and there's gas line so they couldn't blast it. usually if they have rock you know a lot of rock they usually just you know get a blasting crew out here and blast it but it's a neighborhood so yep it's been an interesting day just na nasty slop it's all it's been nasty slop all because of the snow that's all i've done today I've done a little bit of a uh, little bit of stockpile you know, brought some stuff over there to stop pop, but that's about it. Yep. Just got done cleaning the tracks. Got all muddy. Just to clean the tracks. Not, nothing crazy. Just, you know, a little bit of, uh, mud splatter because it's all wet and slop on the dozer and the hoe my least favorite equipment to clean would be probably i would say the 
hoe and the loader. Those are tied. And I only say that because the hoe is big. The loader is, it's not because it's big. It's because of all the rollers that you have to clean in order to, you know, keep everything good, you know? But, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, as you can see, little mud droplets all because of this, you know, stuff coming off. But other than that, you know, I'm just going home now, making the hour hour trip home. If I was living with my parents, it'd be about two. But it is what it is. fuel trucks over there filling up the trucks and all the other equipment so he just got here like not too long ago but yeah that's all i really got for you today hopefully you guys like the video let me know what you guys want to see next and i'll talk to you guys later like comment and subscribe